Hi guys, how are you today? So today we're gonna start another little art studio or art room series that has to do with organization, which is the bane of any creative's existence, no matter the product. You always struggle with the right way for you and the way you create and what you create with in the space that you do the creating. Like always, it's always a thing, whether you're a painter or a needle crafter, um, no matter what your creative endeavors, it's always a struggle to store your tools and supplies and to store it in a way that makes them easy to use, easy to access, so that you remember they're there, to be honest. For me, one of those big things that have been a struggle for me for years and years are my stencils. I've tried everything boxes, bins, file folders, accordion folders, binders, all sorts of things, none of which were completely satisfactory for me, to be honest. Now, I'm gonna ins start inserting here some pictures of uh, different storage ideas that some of my friends use, including Chelsea, Peg Robinson, Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studios, um, Cindy Utter and a bunch of others. I'm trying to put their names at the bottom and I will try to slow down the timing of the picture so you have a really good chance to look at what they're doing. Um, some of them are going to do videos on what they do for storage and if they do do a video I'm going to link it in the description below um, so go check it out and um, some of them hang their stencils up on shelves and um, rods. Some of them use bins and baskets. Some of them have them in a drawer um, some have them in accordion folders, and um, that works for them. There's no right way and there's no wrong way. That's what I want to tell you about this. Um, I just want to give you all different, and as do they, want to give you all different ideas and ways to store your stencils. Today we're going to talk about stencils. There will probably be other videos coming up if you have specific things you want me to give you ideas on how to store. Leave something in the comments below. All right, so you'll see in the pictures some people use binders, some people use... Uh, baskets and bins, like I said, some use um, um, O-rings to hang them up, some use, um, uh, Peg has a small clip it up. If you don't know what the clip it up, it was made a very long time ago, it's di since discontinued. It was kind of pricey at the time when it was new, um, and she has one of the smaller tabletop versions. They did make a large floor version, which was, I believe at the time, like $150. I've always wanted one, but they don't make them anymore, and they were really expensive. So we're gonna go back here to the table and you'll see all these binders. So this is what I was using in my most recent incarnation for stencil storage were binders. I had different size binders for different size stencils. Um, and um, in the old space, which was a very small little bedroom, this worked, although they were in a closet, so every time I wanted to use one, I had to dig it out, and then, you know, that gets to be tedious and a pain in the neck, and so then you only use the couple that are just out all the time and you never use anything else, yada, yada. You guys get the idea. So this wasn't perfect, but for the time, it was a good solution. Now I'm in a very much bigger, brighter space, and I have a lot more room to spread out and have things more open and accessible. I don't have more things than I do in the old space. In fact, I have less because I got rid of a lot of stuff, but what I do have is more open and accessible to me and I can get to it easier, including the stencils. So this is what I did used to use and they're a combination of scrapbooking binders with the sheet protectors in them, small photo albums, Avery, um, small Avery, these are Avery binders, small ones, um, but wide, like these are, I don't know, two and a half or three inches, two, three inch binders. Now these I've never seen in the store. I get them on Amazon. I'll try to remember to put a link below. Um, some of them had just your standard small binder dividers and sheet protectors in it. Um, these were the ones that my personal design line of stencils were in didn't take that tag out of there. And inside of them, I used, these are Tim Holtz um, sleeves. And these actually are very strong, sturdy plastic. They've been used for a few different things over the years. Um, and you have to uh, re-punch the holes because they only come with two. Uh, but they work really well, actually, in here. Um, they're a little bit thick for the binder, you can see. 
but they hold the stencils very well. And then for the really big ones, I got this really large binder. I think at scrapbooks.com. Again, it's a scrapbooking binder uh, made to hold 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbooking paper. It holds the big stencils very well. So I transitioned out of these literally last night. Um, I was doing one of my many Google searches about what I could possibly do with the stencils, which is, as I said earlier, the constant bane of my existence in crafting and creating. Um, I'm always on the lookout for something that was more affordable, but comparable to the floor model Clip It Up. And I will try to find a picture of the Clip It Up and insert it right about here somewhere. Um, I stumbled across, across something the other day um, a couple of weeks ago and I was like, aha, that's what I need. It did take a while to get in. Of course, as soon as I ordered it, there was some um, issue with weather and getting it over here to the West Coast, but um, it's from Chicago, so there was some flooding. And anyway, I did finally get it and I set it up last night. So I am going to cut to a view of that. Um, it is a retail floor display intended for hats and scarves. Um, coming from a retail background, I have been thinking for a long time there must be a retail display out there that looked like the Clip, clip It Up or was something comparable that would work just as well. I just hadn't found one until I stumbled across it a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to leave a link to the one I purchased in the description below. They do have a countertop version that only has one ring on it. It's a little bit smaller. It's 14 inches instead of 16. Um, but it would fit on a countertop. And if you have a smaller collection of stencils, that might work for you. And I don't know because I didn't order that one, but maybe you might be able to message the company and see if they could send you a spare ring and um, you might be able to put uh, two rings on it. I, I have no idea, um, but you might ask if that's what's gonna work for you. But let me um, go over to uh, the setup of what I have and I'll be right back. Okay, so how pretty does that look in the corner? So this is the floor display from the Marvelous Manufacturing Company. It is a, as I said, a retail display and it comes with four rings. You actually can get it with five. I opted for four and every single stencil I have is on there. I um, have my little ones on the top. These are all the ones from my design line and then more of the similar size like six by six and six by eight. Um, and a few homemade ones, and then the really big ones at the bottom. I do have a few of them that are um, singled out and sections that if I use them, I want to make sure I, I tell you all who they're from, like my friend Mike Deacon. And um, they're not for sale. I do have a few that are singled out, like these from my friend Mike Deacon. So if I do use them in a video, I want to be able to tell you all where you can get them. Uh, for the most part, I haven't been great about keeping track of whose stencils are whose, um, but I do know some of them. So I'm going to try to mark those that I know. Um, but I am loving this. I can literally just go over here. I can unclip a stencil, use it, bring it back, clip it back up. It's going to make it so much easier. I can see everything that I have. Now, it didn't come with the clips. The clips were purchased separately and I will leave the Amazon link to the clips that I bought and I do, I do actually need more clips because I don't have enough. I had to sort of bag some stencils because yeah, I ran out of clips. So anyway, uh, so you want to, you know, I, the clips come in bags of 120 and I need another bag of clips. So I won't tell you how many bags I've ordered because that's embarrassing, but let's just say if you have about this many stencils, um, you're probably going to need three bags of clips. Just saying. <laughs> so I hope this is one thing that gives you some idea of what you can do with this particular product in your creative space stencils. Whether you're storing them in binders or you're going to get one of these style of racks to clip them onto. Now you do occasionally see the clip it ups, the small ones and the big ones on eBay. Every now and then they'll sell it on eBay for a really good price. Most of the time it's way too much money. It, but it's also something that you want to maybe keep an eye out if you like this idea when you go to the sort of creative and scrapbooking um, garage sale type things that some of our local mom and pop scrapbooking shops will have once or twice a year. Um, so you want to keep your eyes open also maybe at garage sales or thrift shops um, but or maybe stores that are going out of business. But it's a really great idea. You can something use something like this which is also a retail display from my craft show days. 
Um, the problem with this is your stencils would fit back to back. So then it's not as convenient to get them off of the rack, I don't think. But look at your retail displays. This one with shipping was still less than half price of the original Clip It Up. And that included shipping. Uh, without shipping, it was $46, I believe. Um, so that's a lot less expensive than the Clip It Up. So I'm going to link my friend's um, videos in the description below. Again, really think about what way works for you. How do you create in your space? Um, how do you access things like your stencils? What's going to make it easy for you to get to them and remember to use them? Maybe just having a basket of them under your work table works. Uh, maybe having them in a drawer works. Maybe putting them in an accordion folder works. You have to work with your space and how you create and make it easy for you so that you actually use them and you don't have a product just sitting in a closet that you never get it to. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. And um, in the description below are all the links I spoke of. Plus, if you want to follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube or over on Facebook, click on my link tree because you're going to find a bunch of different sites that you can do all of those things on, including my Etsy shop, Redbubble, Patreon, uh, my tip jar, all that stuff. So check it out. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Enjoy those stencils, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.